Uh, thank you, Dr. J.J. Agrawal, sir, for giving me this opportunity to talk on uh, artificial intelligence and glaucoma practice. I'll be a little brief as uh, uh, the introduction part has already been covered. Uh, but just to summarize, artificial intelligence is defined as creation of automated systems to perform tasks that are regarded as requiring human intelligence. So it is one step ahead of human intelligence. Only thing is it need to have a little bit of a multiple neural network to develop the uh, advantages which human has got. AI has permeated into the nearly every sector of the science, technology and medicine. And same is the uh, same is true for the ophthalmology also. Uh, and it is also very important that in ophthalmology, visual examination or image pattern based recognitions form the basis of ocular diagnosis. And that is the same thing that is applied to the artificial intelligence also. And so it is very pertinent to be used in the ophthalmological practices also. So some of the key examples are IOA detection programs and its successes like diabetic retinopathy. And this is the first FDA approved aid diagnostic system also. Now, types of artificial intelligence, there can be simple where the programmers gives the software mathematical descriptions of features to detect and a rule based algorithm pattern. So pattern recognition is done. And this is a simple automated detectors. When we go to the basic machine learning, the algorithm is given some basic rules about what disease features look like, along with the training set of images. So we train the basic machine also. And based on our training, the artificial intelligence start working and differentiating and deciphering the abnormal from the normal image. Then comes the advanced machine learning that consists of one or two interconnected layers or small compound computing units that is neurons. And what it does is it the output comes in form of a, a numericals and that is the language of computers and that's how it detects the output also. In the deep learning, that is the most advanced one. With the convolutional neural network, there are multiple interconnected layers of neurons. And that's how this is the superior most type of the artificial intelligence and which will be coming into the play in near futures in uh, ophthalmology also. So what are the uses as enumer enumerated? Mass screening is one of the most important area where artificial intelligence has to be used, will be used. Diagnostic imaging, like analyzes retinal fundus photograph, diabetic retinopathy, AMD, ROP, glaucoma, as well as IOP calculations. So where it can be used in glaucoma? We know that screening is still one of the very difficult part of glaucoma programs. We have to screen out a lot of patients. We know the uh, uh, incidence uh, percentage of the glaucoma, but we are not able to reach to the population. And that's where the artificial intelligence can work. It can also help us in diagnosis, early arriving at the early diagnosis of the patient. Further, it can diagnose and detect the pattern changes in the patient progressions. And so progression can also be assessed with the help of artificial intelligence. And finally, it can prognosticate, which is there in now newer generations of machines, which are doing visual field in, in uh, assessments. So first use of machine learning classifier for artificial use was way back in 1994 to discriminate between the normal and glaucomatous field defect. So this was the earliest one. The classification of visual field defect has also been independently performed through unsupervised MLC, which has been explained beautifully by Dr. Uh, Abhishek Anand, what is unsupervised MLC? Now, what are the clinical applications? in glaucoma. Number one is automatically detecting features related to glaucoma that has got significant, great significance on its timely diagnosis. If, if, if our clinical acumen is uh, conjoined with the artificial intelligence, maybe we will diagnose the patient much earlier than when it appears into the patient clinical panorama. So a preclinical diagnosis a pre perimetric diagnosis is one of the field where this artificial intelligence is going to help us. Based on automatically localization of optic nerve head and the extraction of the optic disc and optic curve from the fundus image, CDR can be calculated. And this 
artificial intelligence model can help us in screening the patients in the periphery by untrained uh, uh, evaluators who can just capture the images and then the artificial intelligence will help us in identifying the amount of changes or the uh, cd ratio to segregate the patients who uh, who will be requiring further evaluations then rnfl defect can serve as the earliest sign of glaucoma and several researchers have explored diagnostic accuracy of different method using rnfl thickness parameter to diagnose glaucoma and that forms the very basic of diagnosis or the diagnostic acumen, uh, acumen or the equipment which we are using that is optical core and stomography in cases of intraocular pressure sensitive trigger face which is a contact lens based continuous iop monitoring device which actually measures only the corneal strain changes to iop fluctuation that is also artificial intelligence is being used coming to the visual field progression the first successful implementation of mblc was to detect differentiate between the visual field normal visual field to uh, uh, to to a field of glaucomatous patient and that was actually based on the back propagations neural network that demonstrated the ability to detect worsening of the visual field also now algorithms such as the variational bayesian independent component analysis mixture model used to detect visual field progression changes and that this method is successfully identifying more progression than emgt that means this program can be utilized for early diagnosis of progressions now fundus photograph with recent advances in the use of telemedicine this is this is very important now the computers are capturing the images the uh, photographic images are captured and these photographic images are now converted into numericals based on artificial intelligence and then the computer is able to actually identify the boundaries actually it is helpful to in identifying what is normal what is abnormal so ml algorithm using fundus photograph can detect early glaucomatous optic neuropathy and differentiate other optic neuropathy that may mimic glaucoma and some of the ai that evaluates glaucomatous fundus photographs are pegasus netra ai and uh, google net netra we are we are all um, uh, Uh, aware of that is indianized kind of the artificial intelligence which is being used so the challenges is now each photograph consists of millions of pixels and that to be converted into numericals is little difficult and that will require training of mlc that is a, a machine learning uh, ca calibrator calibrators and develop ai in glaucoma recent development are mostly based on the oct images and mlc analyzes data from the newer sdoct are comparable in detecting glaucoma versus the regional or global oct and that is very important the oct is giving us picture which are being um, uh, actually actually uh, converted into numericals and these numericals are helping us in identifying the red and green disease as as we see in the printouts and so that is going to help us in this image we can see the artificial intelligence of the netra can detect the outer bound boundary and the boundaries of the cup and that is how it can help us in identifying our abnormal patient from a normal patients and further it will give you a calculation and which can be implied for detection of the patients or the screening of the patients coming to the optic nerve structures early application of mlc is to structural measures of glaucoma utilize techniques such as confocal laser ophthalmoscopy and scanning laser polarimetry they are also type of artificial intelligence and the most recent application of mlc is to structure identify the structural glaucomatous change have focused on oct imaging so oct is now the basic of artificial intelligence to be used for the detection of the glaucoma or the uh, evaluation of the progression of the glaucoma in uh, patients now what are the future prospect a single algorithm that combines relevant data from the individual patients to determine the presence and progression of glaucoma is a common goal of mlc so we have to actually identify what is that single algorithm that is going to give us us uh, uh, an insight into detecting the presence or progression of glaucoma the most exciting capability of ai will be to extend to extract knowledge independent of human interventions such that new insights and pattern of glaucoma can be discovered so if artificial intelligence can throw something new uh, about the glaucoma the changes which are occurring which are still not being known to uh, uh, to human uh, uh, humans just because of artificial intelligence and 
certain multiple neural network it can identify the finest of changes which can be detected and that will throw light into detection of glaucoma and ways to which the extract this, this information and to determine which piece of information are most important will be critical to advancing knowledge through the use of ai this is very important so take home message of my uh, talk is there has has been extensive growth in the recent years in applying machine learning to glaucoma we all are using artificial intelligence although we are not aware or we don't want to be uh, get into the deeper part of the machines we are all only concerned with the print out but that is not so the print out is coming out of artificial intelligence it is giving you insight and that is through artificial intelligence more the data more the artificial intelligence will work in a precise manner so technique used in ai can successfully analyze and categorize data from the visual field optic nerve structures and ocular biomechanical properties it has the potential to revolutionize the screening program and that is going to be the crux of uh, uh, the whole ai systems in diagnosis and classification of glaucoma however till the time it achieves a greater sensitivity and specificity a thorough clinical examination will stay as a gold gold standard for diagnosis of glaucoma and that is very important even if we do have artificial intelligence it can detect it will be uh, it will able be, it will be able to differentiate between normal from abnormal but these abnormal patients will require further evaluation by a thorough clinician who is uh, good at his clinical acumen to identify and treat these patients thank you very much for your patient love